bought these new work lights to give me light on the when I'm doing things in the bathroom here. They're quite powerful. They're 4,800 lumens. <laughs> and I'm having to mess with settings on the camera because they flicker on the camera. You can't see it to the naked eye, but flickers on the camera. And there's only two settings on the camera that I can change. Well, one setting, one setting I can change that has two options. Uh, one causes it to flicker, 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 flicker. And this one causes it to have that black line going across, which looks like I can get around by holding the camera at different angles. But that black line is a pain in the butt. <coughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to work around that. Go away, go away. Hmm. Otherwise the light is good. And the light is great for doing the job, but not so good if I can't video what I'm doing. Anyway, that's a pain, but I'll press on for now. I hope it works. Ish. Seems to be a little bit better. I was going to say when the camera's not moving, but I can see the dark line across here. And now it's moving up. Damn. Well, I might have to turn those lights off and use other lights while I'm using the camera, but then I'll just use them for working off camera. Because we can't have this, can we? That black line there right across my beautiful face right now. And that's what it looks like on the normal setting. So I'm stuffed either way. So the job I want to do today I'm going to take out this door frame and then decide if I can or want to raise the height of that door. Ashling is happy leaving that wall there now. She likes the privacy. But I might take out this spot, take out that piece if I can. would open up that nice big wall um, but I don't want to get stuck in just yet because I've got a plumber coming today just to have a look and quote on the job but also I haven't filled in that hole there yet because uh, I'm going to ask him if that's a handy hole for him to get his pipes outside before I fill it with concrete because that might work out for him, make the job cheaper too, because access is already there. I might just do a little bit of hammering. The dog will tell me if he comes. But you know how it is when you're expecting a visitor, or when I'm expecting a visitor anyway. I'm almost on tenter hooks just, bef just before he arrives in case I miss him somehow. I don't know how doors are normally attached. I can't see any 
screw holes on the outside because they would be plugged with filler. Can't see anything on the inside because they're filled with Celastic in some places and expanding foam in the others. So I'm just going to have to try and bust it a bit and see what happens. Sounds a bit tougher. raining again. We've had a lot of rain recently. But anyway, uh, the plumber has been and gone. We had a good discussion. Um, I've got a test that... Let me get out of the wind. I've got to test that clay pipe that I busted out yesterday if that is still viable we might be able to use it as wastewater out of the bath uh, so I've got to put the holes in it and see if it's running if not we have to do some serious cutting and digging in the floor so I'm glad I didn't fill in that hole yesterday because that might actually save us a lot of money and a lot of heartache if that works. There's no one down the sewer pipe. Let's see what happens. If this pipe fills up with water that's no good to us. But if I pour lots of water down here and nothing comes back at me, then that's a huge bonus. So I'm going to give it a huge big test here. I might go outside and listen near the other pipes. See if it um, 
if I can hear it running. Shove this well in there first. And put a brick on it so I can't come back out. Okay, let's go look outside. So it's down there somewhere. Down there somewhere, but I've no way of seeing it or checking it unless I dig a hole. So I'll just have to wait and see if it backs up with water. So far so good, after 8 minutes. It's been 8 minutes running. Eighteen minutes, nineteen and a half minutes, and that's twenty. <coughs> Excellent. Go away, black line. So, ran the hose for full 20 minutes on full flow and no backing up, so that pipe is viable. Which is great news because plumber said we can tap into that and use it for the wastewater from the bath. So that'll save us a lot of um, digging and plumbing and cost. Because it could be exposed for a while, I just thought I'd clean it up a bit nicer. <laughs> 